Hey everybody, this is Tracy here with another edition of A View from Tracy's Point. And we are here with another announcement about the passing of an industry legend. You guys, um, yesterday I posted that Major League Baseball Hall of Famer Hank Aaron passed away at the age of 86. And today we learned that iconic talk show host and radio host Larry King has passed away at the age of 87 and his death comes a few weeks after it was announced that he had been diagnosed with coronavirus. Um, there is no cause of death given but you know we can only assume that it was related to complications of COVID. So here is an article from Rolling Stone. It says, Larry King, the award-winning TV and radio host who became a household name with his long-running CNN show, Larry King Live, died Saturday morning at the age of 87. So Aura Media announced that it's with profound sadness that they have to announce that their friend, Larry King, um, passed away this morning at the age of 87 at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. And then on Larry King's Twitter, it also announced the news and stated that there was no cause of death provided. But King's death came weeks after it was revealed that the 87-year-old host was battling coronavirus. And for 63 years and across the platforms of radio, television, digital media, Larry's many thousands of interviews, awards, and global acclaim stand as a testament to his unique and lasting talent as a broadcaster. Additionally, while it was his name appearing in the show titles, Larry always viewed his interview subjects as the true stars of his programs and himself as merely an unbiased conduit between the guests and audience. Whether he was interviewing a U.S. president, foreign leader, celebrity, scandal-written personage, or an everyman, Larry liked to ask short, direct, and uncomplicated questions. He believed concise questions usually provided the best answers, and he was not wrong in that belief. And Larry King was known for wearing his iconic suspenders with a dress shirt, colorful dress shirts with the sleeves rolled up. And so he will forever be known for that signature statement. So King has battled other health problems over the years, including prostate cancer and two type and type 2 diabetes. In 1987, he suffered a heart attack that required um, quadruple bypass surgery, quadruple bypass surgery, and in 2017, he underwent surgery to remove a malignant tumor in his lungs. And then earlier this year, two of King's adult children, son Andy and daughter Chaya, died within weeks of each other. Despite the tragedies, King continued to release new episodes of his YouTube series, Larry King Now, with the most recent episode premiering two weeks ago. And I didn't know that his son and daughter had passed away recently within weeks of each other. In May, King also announced plans to enter the world of podcasting. The Brooklyn-born King began his career in the late 1950s as a newspaper journalist and Miami DJ before expanding his radio repertoire to celebrity interviews and sporting event commentary. In 1978, King launched his nationwide Larry King show broadcast, which he continued to host even after his Larry King live television show began airing on CNN in 1985. So guys, um, Larry King of Larry King Live has passed away at the age of 87. No confirmed cause of death, but he was diagnosed with coronavirus a couple of weeks ago. Prayers to whatever remaining family that he has, his friends, and I know that the journalism community is mourning his loss today. 
just want to bring this information to you go ahead leave your comments below rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and please get out and enjoy your day and tell the people that you love that you love them and until the next time guys i'll talk to you later bye bye